Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been such a long time that I did a Nike haul on my channel. That's because I was not really buying that many products um, anywhere online in the past couple of months. And I'm slowly getting back to my routine and starting to test out more products. So yeah, I did pick up a bunch of makeup products from Nike. So let me get started. So these are the two boxes that the products came in. Uh, let me show you guys one by one. The first one is this Sally Hansen Extreme wear nail color and this is in a beautiful lilac shade it's called lacy lilac and that's how the bottle looks like i love sally hansen nail polishes they last very well on my nails and also give that gel like finish this is what i'm wearing on my nails right now as well you guys always ask me about my nails so yeah this is what i'm wearing it's a very very beautiful um pastely lilac shade i love it on my skin tone especially for the summer i also picked up this la girl glossy lip stain tint um this is in the shade myth that's how the packaging looks like it's a regular liquid lipstick kind of a packaging and inside you've got the tint here is the swatch that's how it looks like it looks like a very pretty muted berry mauve kind of a shade i'm really excited to use this one i've heard a lot of good things about this lip glossy tint oh and by the way the background and the setup is a lot more different than my usual one because i am at my parents place right now so yeah this is the situation that we have right now um i also got this rene brush clean out spray sort of a thingy i really love the pack one i'm traveling right now so i wanted something to uh, clean off my brushes instantly instead of washing them i really don't even have the time to um, do that with my baby and all so i wanted something to be super quick and instant so that's the reason i got the rene uh, brush cleaner i love the pack um brush cleaner but but that one is quite expensive but that's so good it removes all the um dirt and impurity from your brushes so well i used this yesterday it's all right it's not as good as the pack one but it does the job for the time being i'm just gonna keep using this one i think it's great for travel since it's a, a nice small spray bottle so yeah that's the reason i got this then i also got the k beauty matte compact powder this is the second time i'm purchasing this compact powder and this is in the shade 170 white tan which is an exact match to my skin tone i love this compact powder from k beauty that's how the packaging is super sleek really nice and compact you can travel with it anywhere that you want and it's such a good good match on my skin tone i love this compact powder i'm already done with the old one so want to restock on this one then we have the pack xara dewy liquid blush that's how the packaging is it's so pretty it's got that holographic sort of a finish on the outside it's a doe foot applicator let me show you guys so that's how it looks like it reminds me a lot of the rare beauty um blush packaging so this is how the shade looks like it's a bright coral kind of a shade and yes it is dewy on the skin it blends well but i feel like this blusher would be um really good blusher for dry skin types not so much for oily skin because it's kind of a lot on the dewy side so it could make your oily skin even more oilier i feel that's just my personal opinion i used it once and that's how i felt about it but the shade is really pretty it shows up well on my brown skin so this is my birthday month my birthday just passed on the 15th of march and nika always sends you um, gifts whenever you purchase during that time or that month so this time i got the nika love struck first date shower gel it's a huge tube love the lilac -y, um color of the packaging as well looks very chic and pretty love the scent of it as well it's very floral and fresh um generally nika sends you sheet masks but this time i've gotten this shower gel which is good really looking forward to use this one the fragrance is so good i totally forgot to pack my eyelash curler so got this bare essentials eyelash curler i've not really opened it yet uh, but the review was really good on nika so i picked it up i also picked up some other tools here i have the bougie beauty um, highlighter brush 
I've never tried anything from this particular brand. The brush looks really nice. The handle is white and the ferrule is rose gold and the brush feels quite soft. So I'm really looking forward to use this for my highlight. I've seen this brand quite a lot on Nykaa but never really picked anything from them. So I'm looking forward to use this. I also picked up a beauty blender. This is from this brand called Blush and that's how the beauty blender looks like with a case on it. It looks super cute. The beauty blender itself is in this cute little case which you can store especially while traveling. This could be such a handy cute little um, holder for your sponge. And inside you've got the plush beauty blender. This one also had really really good reviews so I'm really looking forward to use it. It feels quite soft um, as it is dry as well so I will let you guys know how I feel about this um, once I use it. The case also has these tiny little um, holes at the bottom so that the beauty blender stays nice and airy inside the case. Then I also got the Faces Canada Eyebrow um, Dual Ended brush so that's how the brush looks like it's got an angled brush on one side and a spoolie on the other side i know that this is a good one so i restocked on it the angle is super fine and thin and it's got a nice spoolie it's got a good grip it's very long it's really good and it's so so affordable on nika also forgot to pack my eyebrow fixer gel so got this pack quick fix brow gel that's how the packaging looks like it's a nice sleek black um, tube with a clear brow gel inside the wand is super super tiny and fits perfectly on your eyebrows I did use this brow gel to set my brows and they are staying intact and put and it's not very crunchy as well like most of the eyebrow gels do it's pretty soft on the skin and yeah it's set my eyebrows really well that's definitely a great purchase from pack i also picked up a couple of cream and liquid blushes let me show you guys one by one these are really cool purchases so the first one is this insight cosmetics lip and cheek tint in a purple color that's how the outer packaging looks like it's called 06 unicorn sprinkles and this is how purple that looks like you guys must have seen purple blush trend on brown skin um, apparently they look really nice on brown skin so that's the reason i got it as you can see this is not some magenta mauvish kind of a purple it's straight up purple so i'm really excited to use this in one of my shorts or release video so stay tuned for that but yeah i'm super super excited to use this purple blush on my brown skin and this was so so affordable i think it was under 100 rupees so that's how we know. The next blusher that I got is from Rene. This is their PH Madness blush. That's the packaging of the PH Madness blush and wait for the surprise. It is black in color. What? Yeah, this is a color changing blusher just like the color changing lipsticks that you guys might have seen all over the internet. So I'm really looking forward to use this one as well. It does have a little bit of a chemically floral fragrance. Uh, the packaging feels a little bit flimsy but it's super thin. So I feel like you can carry this in your purse very easily. Stay tuned for the demo in the short section. And I also picked up this Love Child by masaba band baja blush and this is in the shade cinnamon choli um, i've heard really good things about the masaba love child by masaba blushes especially these cream ones so yeah that's how the packaging is it's a really cute little tube packaging very colorful and youthful sort of a packaging let me just squeeze out a little bit of the product I think I squeezed out a little too much. I heard that this is super super pigmented. You would need the tiniest amount and oh my god yes. It is very very pigmented and it feels like a little bit of a thick mossy consistency. Um, the shade is like a rusty browny kind of a shade. 
um, so yeah I'm guessing this would be a nice pigmented blush for brown skin girls since there is already so much pigment with this swatch I mean these kind of shades look great on dusky complexions in my opinion warm rusty tones rather than popping vibrant pink tones i also forgot to show you another lip product that i picked up this is a really cool and viral sort of a lip product in the recent times i've got the revlon color stay satin ink um liquid lipstick so this is basically like a sister to the maybelline vinyl ink liquid lipsticks they have a lot of pigment but stay glossy and transfer proof that's exactly how this is but i feel like this is a better version of the maybelline vinyl lip inks because this is so lightweight on the lips yet it has such great pigmentation it's got the same glossy finish uh, does not transfer you just have to give it a couple of minutes to settle down and then it becomes completely transfer proof um, the shine might go away with your meals and drinks and everything but the color stays on your lips so it's that kind of a lip product i got this in the shade 005 silky sienna that's how the lip color looks like it's like a blend of mauve and brown it's such a beautiful color for brown skin tones it's a very perfect everyday nude kind of a color on my skin tone i do have this on my lips at the moment but i did top it off with the clinique black honey on top uh, but i will show you guys the exact lip color in the clip on the screen somewhere but i absolutely love this product it's so good it's definitely a better version of the maybelline vinyl ink liquid lipsticks in terms of the feel and texture of the lipstick on your lips it's not very sticky on the lips that's what i love about the drevlon color stay satin ink the final product that i picked up is this relove by revolution liquid concealer so this is called their super concealer i've got this in the shade c 12.5 love the packaging i really love re-love makeup products by revolution there are some amazing products so i have been eyeing on this concealer for a long time and i saw shreya gems um real video recently and she was really raving about the product so i gave in and i got it it's very very affordable as well by the way um so that's how the wand is and this is the shade C12.5 um, right from the swatch I can see that it's a little bit on the neutral cool toned side and not very warm I like my concealers to be a little bit on the warmer side but um, let's see let's see how this works on my skin tone feels very creamy and light it's blending well and has decent coverage I need to use it on my skin to know how exactly it looks and feels on the skin so yeah that's it those were all of the makeup products that I picked recently from Nykaa all the products that I mentioned in today's video will be linked in the description box I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure to give it a huge thumbs up comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and I shall see you guys soon in my next one bye